I got out of bed. I'm putting it on. This is supersonic sand. So yes, we do actually have artists as far as Los Angeles and we have one a bit closer to home. So I think the time has come for us to introduce our first collaborative artist. So his name is Nirolis and he is currently on the coast of... Norway. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> Hello from Norway. <laughs> Welcome to Find Out Friday. You are joined by myself <laughs> and Sean Corcoran. Sean, how are you? How are we? Exciting, exciting. I was living in America, working in a bar, and also writing music at home. And we found a, a flat that was like really cheap. But uh, it was due for demolition. So, I mean, uh, it's at the back of an old shop. So you literally walk in through the back and, and there'd be like, a, it was so bad. There was like orange mushrooms growing on the carpet. And the, and sort of, orange and that. mushrooms, Rebecca, orange mushrooms. I, on the carpet. Ireland's a bit damp, <laughs> lads. Do you know, there'd be orange mushrooms in most houses. As the track was coming in back and forth, mastered back and forth, it was just really, really immersive. And I had to, I finished up yesterday and I had to, had to drive, uh, I went on a drive. And I couldn't get the track out of my head. Every single note and the layers and layers in it are just so immersive and beautiful. And the track is dedicated to and titled The Bike Queen. Specially made for the project by, who's it made by? It is made by my good friend, Wob. And I am about to reveal my good friend, Wob. Wob, how are you? <laughs> Hey friends, <laughs> very good, thank you, how are you doing? We're going on a trip, lads! <laughs> and this With is... orange mushrooms. Yeah! Orange orange mushrooms. See, it all ties together, so yeah, being able to use Hoisin and putting it into a track and calling it Hoisin Island and all of us being able to collaborate together to make this piece come to life, it's just, it's such a huge massive privilege, guys, and I cannot wait for the entire world to see what we've made and to launch the first one. It's just uber exciting. My mind is in that state all the time, you know, so just close my eyes and then I started kind of picturing the, the, the landscape and the soundscape. I, I use the soundscape to describe it in a way. So I started the, uh, working with the movements, you know, the, the way you were moving the sand with your rake, the, the way, the way uh, waves are kind of moving back and forth on, on the on the on the shore so i started kind of working with with, with sounds describing that then i introduced a, a, a very strong powerful vocal line yeah like and as you say like i mean uh, electronic music um you know it hasn't been my go-to genre shall we say down through uh, my musical uh, life but i suppose for me it's the challenge of connecting like i love a challenge and for me, uh, the time lapses that I'm creating from my giraffe, my giant tripod, they're very, very fast and almost like an animation. It's uh, like uh, this image miraculously appears in front of your eyes. So I'm trying to see, is it possible to somehow connect the beat and the rhythm uh, of the music with uh, the visual? So that's for me is the, the personal challenge. And. Uh... My God, yeah, I just said, oh, I'd love to be part of this. And yeah, the song itself was just, um, I, I, I've been experimenting so much with um, like old tape recorders recently. And um, I got a, an old uh, clarinet off of uh, Sheena Crowley from Crowley's. Um, so she very generously gave me that clarinet and I was figuring out how to play it. Um, and in addition to that, I was kind of messing around with the, the, the violin. So just between the two of them, I was just kind of making like these cassette tape loops. Um, and then just using loops, then brought it into the software and then just messed around with the pitch. So uh, yeah, it's just lots of kind of analog and digital 
in you know intermingling that kind of thing and i was on my motorcycle coming in from host to dublin and uh, the sun was going down and the city was like there in the distance and you could see like the flashing lights and cool bag tower and i could smell the uh, the sea just on that kind of like just on the sea road there and it was just one of those moments of like freedom and serenity uh, that you get you know and you like when you get a moment like that you just kind of take it and you kind of like put it in your brain and you're like i'm gonna save this for later um and you can revisit that so it was just like a really nice nice little thing that happened um and i just decided that you know when, when things like this happen you kind of commit them to memory and uh something you can come back to when you're looking for for an uplifting moment or an uplifting feeling uh so then when i got home i pretty much started writing it straight away because uh, i had this like vision of the city in the distance um and then with the motorbike as well i, I had like i think i had like some some like yellow lenses on uh, so everything looked really cool and retro how are you sweetheart so how is everything going on in belfast yeah it's going good um, i'm having a happy wee birthday so far so welcome joe carter on hi how's it going good how is la I mean, that intro is so glowing that I feel pressure to, like, deliver something. <laughs> yeah, and you're wearing the coolest shirt I think I've ever seen in my whole entire life, okay? It's got slots, alpacas, burritos, headphones, like... What more could you ask for? Your work, Joe, for me, kind of has this kind of like a... There's definitely this kind of black and white uh, graphic visually. I get this kind of like... Uh, you know, uh, clarity in the grey, the grey scale of the clarity of the black and white, you know, so I wanted something that was very uh, punchy in that regard to represent uh, the song. So, so yeah, so, so we had a little sneak preview of it just before we uh, came on to this chat. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it, actually. I think it's amazing. I think it looks really cool, you know. It, it has, like, intuitive flow to it, which the song also does. And, uh, yeah, I mean... They really seem to, it really seems to marry well. It's just, it's awesome what you did. Recently I got this new software, which like is like tons of new synth sounds that I didn't have before. And I was just looking at some of your older videos with, of like the, the time-lapse stuff. Um, I was looking at it and I was like, how would I want, like, what would I want this to sound like? And I found like a synth that was like real, like spacey and dreamy. So it was, uh, when, when, when Sean got in touch with me originally, I thought, yeah, they must have gone off the rocket completely. And, uh, and he told me what it was all about. And even worse again, when he sent me the scripts that he wanted me to read, I suddenly became, I suddenly became a scientist overnight. So now I know all about supersonic sound. Our next artist, collaborator, contributor for the supersonic sound, drum roll, please. <laughs> is uh, none other than Moby. Yeah, I think uh, Sinead only got informed about it as we were walking down the beach and we spotted Sean on the sand and I had to tell her then that she wasn't here for her to get a tan, that she was here to do a lot more than that. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed it, Sinead. <laughs> Loved every minute of it and delighted it's part of something bigger. It's funny that these two tie together quite well. So Moby, Mark Lanigan, Joe, Mark Lanigan, us, Moby. Can I, can I just say that as the math teacher among the group, I really do feel like an imposter. This is Nylon Primate. Hello, good sir. How are we? Hello. How are you? Thanks for having me. <laughs> I'm rolling with this. It was like you on the beach, Sean. Let's just go with this. Do what you feel like. Yeah, go with it. It's all done. It's all done. Everything's done except one tiny little thing. Well, see, this, is my, 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 this is my difficult second album. Drum and, drums and bass are my favourite things in the world. And then when you get the drums right and you get the bass right, in my opinion, you can throw anything you want on it. As long as they're right, you can, you can use any other sound you want. You know, you can sprinkle it with whatever you want. It's a huge privilege to be involved with all of you guys as well. Thank you for the opportunity. And uh, it was great fun. Uh, I'll be doing more in here over, uh, over the winter. But normally I'm out, outside, uh, in the woods, in the hedgerow, on the hill, on the beach, um, which is where I normally write my music and do it all at the moment these days. Mark and Rachel uh, have collaborated with myself and Joe simultaneously across the, uh, the Irish Sea. 
uh, across the Celtic Sea um, uh, there in Wales and we being in Ireland we've collaborated on a couple of projects at this stage uh, uh, sadly never got to meet Mark but uh, uh, I'm looking forward to meeting Rachel and her crew either in Wales or Ireland. Like as a kid, I used to love uh, hiding in hedgerows, uh, pretending to be waiting for the bus to come for school. But, you know, it's great in a hedgerow because you can kind of like pretend that the bus never came if you stay in the hedgerow. And then one morning I woke up at about, golly, I woke up at about, just as the sun was starting to rise. And the sun rises in my house, it rises in my studio window. Um, and I keep the doors open so that light shines all through the house, upstairs. And I woke up and I got out of bed, as one does, and um, the sun was literally just coming up. And that piece of music suddenly came to me. The, 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 first, the biggest shock of all was when uh, Rebecca told me that my track had to be uh, less than three minutes. <laughs> Um, and I don't know if I have ri ever written a track less than three minutes. <laughs> no, I'm seriously, I, I'm, I'm really thrilled with this. This, this is super work by everyone. Both of them were finished with members of the public walking up to me and talking about squirrels, uh, which is how that happened. Um, and they do while I'm setting up, they're all running around above my head. Um, just, and so there's constantly bits of twig and stuff falling on me and the equipment. It's, it's a beautiful dance and and that we can all join together and create something like this I just thank you thank you all and I'm sure from Mark he'll be ecstatic the opening scene is like a uh, bubbles mm -hmm. um, and I had just gone for a swim because the tide was in so I had to swim around the headland to get onto the beach but we had to climb down a cliff Joe and I uh, and the tide was still locking us in, so I swam around the headland. Yeah, with Bamba, like we, we absolutely love Bamba. Like you know, you're 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 part of like twelve amazing acts that are in this. Uh, well, eleven altogether because you're in it twice. Uh, because uh, we just really love what you've been doing. I, I don't yeah. know. Maybe I could wear a well, I won't say I wear a suit, but I. I, <laughs> I but I haven't. Like, but the way I'm thinking is this: I have a kind of an old suit, so like the, the way a professor would probably dress or something. And I don't mind getting them wet. Let me put it to you that <laughs> So some sort of really kind of like Pink Floyd-esque type idea. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe giving the lecture like to the ocean. I like it. I you like know, it. Way, way steep in, in jellyfish or something, you know? <laughs> it's, it's really cool to have like visuals to your song that are not only amazing, but, you know, part of a bigger project that's really cool as well. You have the world's tour. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, we're, we're already planning a massive party in Monaghan once. <laughs> Is it Monaghan we've been? No, it's Mullingar. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mullingar. <laughs> yeah, more more Monaghan. Than that, does it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so 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 even though we're, we're sad to kind of say, oh, track 12, you know, what are we going to do next month? Well, next month we're going to be busy because, yeah, the, the winter solstice is 21st of December. It won't be long and that'll come around so as, as rebecca is saying like we're super excited an eight meter stage a six meter screen behind the artists each of the collaborators and i would just like to uh give a shout out actually if it's okay to the uh the other collaborators at this point because on my other screen here uh we started back in may with uh Hoisin island by Norullis from norway then we went with the vikings tree with wob uh then we went with stephen brennan gave us the sunset shore and then Morphemes Rabbit with Andy Killian, amazing track. Then we went to Belfast, uh, Laps, with the things these shores have seen. And then we went to Los Angeles with Skeleton Joe, the jewel in the crown. And then we went to Supersonic Sam, the track created by Bamba with Roddy Clear and, the, and Charlie's Angels. Uh, that was back then. And we followed that by none other than the king, the godfather of electronic music himself, Moby with a track called Strata and difficult to follow but Nylon Primate managed to follow that incredible track by Mook with the Bubble Machine and then we had Flowers for Mark which was created by me and Joe and Pixie down on Ladies Beach in County Kerry with Mixile amazing track and uh, then we followed that with our last release which was Bubbles in Paradise and that was created 
back in Kerry again. Most of them are in Kilmer and Cove, but this one was back in Kerry. The last one was in Kerry, and it was uh, Bubbles in, in Paradise, created by Keith Sutton, who goes under the name of Drone in the Woods. An incredible, incredible, and incredible track. So what we've done with track number 12, with Bamba, bringing Bamba back, it's a five minute release. So it's the longest track in the whole thing. So visually we've kind of created a mashup. Um, it's all in massive 4K. It's going to be on a six meter screen at Kilmurrin, the full set of 12 plus live performances, not just the videos. I mean, they're only going to be minutes in between things, but these artists are going to be coming to a live stage in Kilmurrin. Amazing sound and light by Dirk Bowman from DBL, uh, Light and Sound from Dungarvan, incredible to work with Dirk and Esther. Uh, thanks to Connor Nolan in the Arts Office in Waterford for making it possible. Then we've got Rocket Pyrotechnics with a 10 minute show at the uh, finale of the presentation at 9 pm. So it starts at 5 and finishes at 9 pm. So it's not an all night rave or anything like that. Don't you worry. It'll all be, you know, it's experimental electronic music collaboration with Sandart. And what better way to finish it than with fireworks? What can we say? You're not going to be able to really thank yourself, so I guess I'm going to have to do that now. But on behalf of all, all the other artists as well, like the work you guys have put in is honestly insane. And um, you know, like you put in so much time to make this beautiful project, and it's unbelievable. So thanks, Rebecca, and thank you, Sean. Uh, for the no video problem. editing, for all the work you did, Rebecca, all the liaising, all the pushing, the promoting, the organizing, everything you guys did is that have, has made this possible. Thank you so much. It's incredible. Uh, okay. You're qualified, fully qualified. Hope you enjoyed it today. <laughs> 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 <laughs>